sometimes it kind of helps to look at um, a chart or a graph of how things really work within your own fitness cycle or kind of to visualize your goals or, or what you're actually trying to accomplish when you're training. And a lot of the way I build programs and build build up workout intensity is based on this concept of really trying to identify your threshold and bump that threshold up workout to workout. So let's say everyone has their own individual threshold and what we're by threshold, I mean their, their muscles ability to tolerate stress and that's from recovery. That's from an intensity standpoint. It's a, there's a lot of different components of that, but it's, it's your, your threshold of tolerance for all this physical stress that we're using to rebuild and repair the tissue so that it grows stronger. And let's say your threshold, let's say you start training and your threshold is here. Well, what your goal is, is to just gradually bump up that threshold each workout so that you're kind of climbing stairs and you maybe start here, but you're pushing that threshold up and your body's ability to, to tolerate stress up each workout that you do. And maybe that's by increasing weight. Maybe that's by increasing intensity. Maybe that's just by being consistent. Bumping up your own threshold can happen in so many different ways. But the important thing to know is that there will be times when you're bumping this thresh threshold up in a linear manner, and then you start to do this and go sideways and maybe, maybe even down a little bit. And these times, don't forget that you're still ahead of where you were. As long as you continue to go back up and stay consistent during those down times and continue that staircase overall, trying to build that trajectory to where you're still moving up and maybe in a year, you know, maybe you're here, but within this time period, you're going to have waves and you're going to go up and you're going to go down. But as long as you're still building that bottom threshold up and you're, you're working towards moving it up, it's normal to go down for certain periods, whether that's an injury, whether that's you got overwhelmed, whether you needed to quit for a little bit, but continuing to look at your threshold and build it up over time. That's how people um, are successful in the long term over spans of years in the macro picture, the big picture and the big picture to me is all that matters because if you zoom in too much, you're going to, you're going to get fixated on this little period here or this little period here, because none of us think about the good times. Um, we tend to beat ourselves up, but if you get too fixated on this and you don't see that you're still ahead of where you were, then that can, that, that causes people to quit or to lose focus. But just remember this big picture and look at it from the, this macro point of view of, uh, in what I view as threshold and just gradually building up your body's ability to tolerate that stress and build it up over time. That really, um, I believe is the accurate depiction and helps people see this long-term view, which um, shows them how far they've come and kind of keeps them in the game.